Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the topic of transparent mode in FortiGate firewall. So what is uh, transparent mode in FortiGate firewall? Basically we configure FortiGate device as a layer 3 device. But uh, what if you want to deploy a FortiGate between your switch and a router and you don't want to you know assign an IP address over it. So in that case you can uh, use the transparent mode. In transparent mode, there is no IP address assigned to the FortiGate firewall, but the next generation features of FortiGate firewall can be used. So I will tell you how to configure uh, FortiGate firewall in uh, transparent mode. We will take the console. So uh, the configuration is very easy. You have to first disable the faulty link. And now, uh, once you disable the faulty link, you have to change the uh, operational mode to transparent mode. And uh, you have to give a management gateway, management IP, sorry. Twenty four, seven twenty slash twenty four, save gateway. So, my gateway, I know. You can check in your virtual adapt adapter settings and uh, after that you have to go you can see changing to TP mode which is transparent mode on fixed system interface since I am using port 1 for the management reachability I have to do some settings over here and think and we're done. I'm able to take the HTTPS HTTP access. You can see in the status the mode is transparent. Okay, so the agenda of this video is to to teach you guys how we can configure FortiGate in a transparent mode. Say for example, you are having one customer, okay, and he is having a request that I want a firewall between uh, my router and switch, and I don't want any extra IP configuration to that uh, transparent uh, to that firewall. I just want to be in a transparent mode. So in that case, we can use a FortiGate firewall in transparent mode, and we can just have a downtime for placing the firewall between the switch and your router okay the gateway will be over here only but this is a firewall it will still behave like a firewall you have to do some configuration so that traffic from this zone should go to the outside zone okay that i will show you now to create interfaces i will create uh, say for example internal this is port 3 VLAN ID is 10. Okay. Similarly, create 20. Okay, we have created the internal interfaces. Basically, the, we are going. We have configured this switch in such a way that this port belongs to VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Is this port? Okay, and this is a trunk port. So we are basically doing the sub interfaces configuration for the internal interface. Now we will do for the external interface. So 
Click on OK. Let me hold on, hold on. What I did? It's for VLAN 20. Now I will click for VLAN 20. Auto VLAN 20. So not VLAN 20. Then. Okay, so we have created the sub interfaces. Okay, internal and external. Now we will create the firewall policy. So for example, one okay, uh, internal, external. So all source will be all. Okay, all sessions. Clone reverse. I'll give it a name as two. Enable this policy. Click on OK. Similarly, we will create a policy for VLAN 20. Three. Internal 20. Similarly, this will be created for the external VLAN 20 also in reverse direction for which I will clone reverse. Okay, we are done with the configuration. Okay, if you see over here, base sequence, internal to external VLAN 20, external to internal VLAN 10, sorry, sorry, VLAN 10. Now internal to external VLAN 20 and external to, in, external to internal VLAN 20. Okay, now this is the basic configuration for our today's topology. Okay, I have done the configuration over here. We'll just show you. We will configure the DHCP server now. I will show you how it is done. I will show you the configuration of the routers. Basically, the L3 interface for this site is being terminated on the routers. If you check. Okay, fast Ethernet, which is for VLAN 20, and this is for VLAN, uh, yeah, this is for VLAN 10, and this is for VLAN 20. Okay, if I show you the configuration, IP address and IP helper address. This is the IP helper address which will be configured over here on the DHCP server. Okay, encapsulation dot one q twenty, and I have given a static route towards the next hop. Similarly, uh, your configuration is there. This is this router. You guys can just take a screenshot. I will just give you the uh, running configuration so that. For your, for your understanding, okay. This is my router. This router. Okay. Now I'll do the configuration. Uh, I will show you the configuration over here. IP interface brief. Okay. So I will configure the DHCP server now. Before that, I will show you the switch configuration.
So this is the uplink port. This port is in VLAN 10 and this is in VLAN 20. Now I'll show you the we will configure the DHCP server. The address. This is the helper IP address, which will be config, which is configured on the uh, L3 interfaces of the uh, the ISP router over here. Okay. I will give it a static route over here. Forty dot one dot one dot one. We'll try a ping if it's there or not. We are able to reach. This is the next hub IP address which is configured over here. Now we will do the DHCP configuration. DHCP pool. VLAN 10 Network 10.1.1.0 This is for VLAN 10 users or is the L3 interface which is configured on this router Okay, helper IP address is there N dot one dot one dot one. Okay. Let me check if my shot works over here. No, it's not required. IP DHCP pool VLAN twenty network Default router 20.1.1.1. So this is this is important. Okay, depending on this, uh, the the DHCP server will identify. This is the basically what I can say. Uh, the identity from which uh, from which helper address from which frame relay we are receiving the uh, the broadcast request for Dora. Let me check. I uh, will check if, as of now, nothing will be assigned. So, I will do HCP binding. Okay, as of now, nothing is there. Now, what I will do? I will just wipe them up, take some new. Okay, and name. Now Dora process will work over here. Okay. So this, so basically our firewall is working properly. Okay, this I this system has got an IP address. Okay, so you can you can see internal to external there was some traffic. Okay, and from external to internal there was some traffic. Okay, KBPS. If you if I go over here. There. Able to ping. Now I'll check whether I'm able to ping from this device to this gateway. It's reachable. I'll try to ping the 30.1.1.1. Sorry, ISP. It's not reachable. Not sure why it's not working. But that is the different part, okay, that I'll check in the back end. But my main agenda was to show you guys 
how to configure the firewall in transparent mode okay and make it work we are also this is for vlan uh 20 okay here also i will set the gateway reachability So why is this happening? As of now, gateway is also not reachable. Okay. If you guys see, there is some traffic over here now. Okay. So this is how you can deploy the OTGET firewall in transparent mode. Okay. You can utilize the other resources also like antivirus, bug filtering, video filtering, DNS filtering, application visibility control, uh, IP intrusion prevention system. Okay. And other services are also there. Okay. We, if you want uh, that I should make more videos on transparent mode, then tell me in the chat, in the comment section. I will definitely use, use it. <clears throat> but as far as my experience, uh, firewalls are not deployed basically in transparent mode. Mostly we use them as an L3 resource only. Okay. So that's all for this video. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos. And thank you guys. Thank you for your support. I'm seeing you guys are, you know, commenting on my, um, uh, on my videos. I'm getting a very good support. And that is uh, motivating me to upload more videos. So stay tuned for the more technical videos. Thank you.